What's up, what's up, everybody? It is me, it's Karen, coming back at you with a fruit review. Now, I know it's been a while, been a little busy, got a little, got a little bit of life going on, but I was at Natural Pantry today, those of you in Alaska or somewhere where they're all healthy and crap, you know that Natural Pantry is like a Whole Foods kind of store, so they always have like this weird looking stuff. So whenever I go in there, I try to find something that I haven't seen before because you never know what you're going to like. And I get it and I do this little review. So, of course, I have some notes, some uh, nutritional benefits and some fun facts or whatever about what we're going to be trying today. I'm a little nervous and I'm going to tell you why when you see what I'm about to eat or try. You know, let me eat it. I try it. Anyway, what we're going to try today is called the Cherry Moya. C-H-E-R-I-M-O-Y-A. It's pronounced chair a moy -ya. chair a -moy -ya. So some people say it's C-H-E-R-I, blah, blah, blah. Some people say it's C-H-I-R-I, -I, blah, blah, blah. Some people call it the sugar apple. I know in some Asian countries they call it the sugar apple. But at the natural pantry store, it was called cherry -moy -ya with an E. So that's what I'm going to go with. Some people call this thing the most delicious fruit on earth point blank period somebody you know you might know him by the name of mark twain said that this is the most delicious fruit known to man so i gotta try mark twain said it was the most delicious fruit known to man i gotta try so real quick some nutritional facts one fruit which is about the size of and you will see it in a second it's about the size of a pear or an apple i guess um, it has 176 calories, 1.6 grams of total fat, zero uh, cholesterol, 16 milligrams of sodium, 674 milligrams of potassium, 42 grams of carbs, holy crap, 7 grams of fiber, 30 grams of sugar, and 3.7 grams of protein. Benefits, boosts immunity because it's very high in vitamin C, about, I don't know, more than 50% 50, 50 vitamin C anti-inflammatory properties, cardiovascular benefits because it's well balanced with its ratio of sodium and potassium, which helps it monitor or regulate heart rate um, and your blood pressure levels. It has some benefits for brain health because it has a very high and very good source of vitamin Bs or B vitamins. Now the unripe cherry moya can be used, well, you have to powder it first. The fruit can be dried and then powdered and then add it to the hair to kill lice. So, for those of you out there with, on the struggle bus with life, you go ahead and get you some cherry moya, unripe, unripe, dry it, powder it, powder it, which means just to ground it or, you know, turn it into powder, dehydrate it, powder it, and then add it to your hair. Get rid of lice, which is weird. All right. So, the ancient, this ancient fruit was originally reserved for royalties. And let me tell you, I understand that because at Natural Pantry, when I bought this yesterday, it was 1142 $11.42 for the fruit. So I got two. I always get two just because I like it. I got some more. But Lord, it's expensive. So remember that. The flavor is described to be a cross between like a banana and pineapple, but the flesh is said to be like bubblegum. So I don't know if I should feel like feel like I'm gonna chew like some juicy fruit. Is that what this gonna taste like? Is it chewing a piece of juice fruit? The juice fruit get you all this is my paper gum. Get you all those flavors. So the seeds, the leaves, and other parts of the plant, seeds, leaves, stems, the skin, do not eat it. It's poisonous. I know there are videos on YouTube of people eating the seeds please don't do that it's toxic and you only need to tell me once that the, something on the fruit is toxic and i almost didn't want to eat this because it's toxic just in case you know i feel like somebody need to be special somebody specialness prepared this for me like that like that that blowfish stuff with the sushi like you got to have somebody who is licensed i'm feeling a little worried but anyway the skin the stem the leaves the seeds don't eat it. Don't look up, oh, they said if I toast it on 300 for five minutes, I'm fine, and then you die. No, don't eat it, okay? It's poisonous because it contains poisonous alkaloids, so do not do it. 
Um, these are also found in or thrive in the Mediterranean climates because it's considered a tropical fruit. That's why it has so many of those tropical flavors. Um, also known, this fruit is also known as the tree of ice cream due to its creamy consistency and blends of banana, mango, strawberry, coconut, papaya, pineapple flavors. So this thing does not look like it would have those flavors, but... You can't judge a book by its cover. I'm going to give it a fair shot. Let's go back to the guava. I gave the guava a fair shot, and that ruined me, but I'm going to give this a fair shot. We're going to try it out. All right, so it's commonly used in smoothies and ice cream and fruit salads and in pie fillings. Um, it can't be stored for a long time, so I bought these yesterday. So if this is good, I plan on eating these today. Can't be stored for a long time because of the sugars. Now, I said it was 30 grams of sugar in the one fruit. So if it sits for too long, that sugar starts to ferment. And I'm, this is why I'm assuming it can't sit for a long time. The sugar will start to ferment the fruit, the custardy or the soft fruit in the middle. And nobody wants to eat fermented anything outside of kimchi. I will kill some kimchi. But nobody wants to eat a fermented fruit when it's not supposed to be fermented. You know what I mean? So careful with how long you let this sit. It does not have a long shelf life. I think if you put it in the refrigerator, um, it will keep longer, but it still won't keep for long. All right, uh, I already said high in vitamin C. The ripe one is similar to an avocado. So if you know how to choose avocados, you pick it up, you give it a little push, probably not with your fingers because you don't want to bruise it, but you kind of give it a little grab with your hand and uh, it, it'll have a little give in it if it's ready. That means it's ripe. So the directions on how to consume this bad boy is to peel and slice, but I'm gonna try to be primitive with mine and I'm gonna try to crack it open with my hand. So this is the cherry moya. This thing looks like when I, I thought it was a pine cone, I was like, why are they selling pine cones at Natural Pantry? Like, oh, are we that far gone in society where we got to eat pine cones or kookaburros? I don't know what you guys call these. I call them pine cones. My daddy called them kookaburros. But anyway, like I said, it's nothing to look at. This is not, like if I was royalty and I saw this sitting on the tray, I'd be like, you going to feed me pine cones? Like, what? But it's supposed to be good, so we're going to crack on into it. I'm worried. Oh, it does have a citrusy smell, though. A little piece of stem I pulled off. So the way that it's supposed to be opened is you push down in here. It's supposed to be very juicy. You push down in here and just crack it open. I don't know if I'm strong enough to do that. I'm going to say not. So I brought my handy-dandy knife, and I'm just going to cut her. Oh, shoot. I'm going to cut her on down the middle like this in here. This is what the inside looks like. So those seeds are poisonous and the skin is poisonous. It smells like childhood when I'm messing with trees and pulling stuff off and breaking it in half and then my fingers smell like earth. That's what it smells like. I hope it don't taste like this. Lord. Alright, I'm just going to dig right on in because if I keep smelling, I ain't going to want to do it. Alright. Alright. Why they... This ain't... They said it was close to a custard apple. This does not look custardy at all. Make sure I have no seeds or nothing in there. It doesn't taste anything like that papaya, strawberry, whatever, whatever they were talking about. I don't even think this. Honestly, I don't know. If, oh, shoot. That was a seed, y'all. I don't even know if... The skin smells very citrusy. It's got that give to it, but it doesn't taste like, I don't taste 30 grams of sugar, dead honest. I taste, you know, I don't know what I taste, but it ain't 30 grams of sugar. Yo, you ain't finna get me a little seed. Let me show you the seed hiding in there. I was about to put that in my mouth, look at that. Boop, you ain't finna get me, bruh. Have me seasoned on camera, nope. Not today, Satan. It's not bad, but it's not what I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be like, oh my God, this is so good. No. Again, better than the guava. Because you know I hate the guava. Well, here we go. 
it's good but it's not like oh my god this is so sweet this is what I, what I was expecting 30 grams of sugar yeah I was expecting some good old southern kool-aid in fruit form but that's not it all right guys I hope you, you enjoy this this little fruit review I hope it teaches you something I hope it makes you want to go out and get some fruit that you've never seen or when you're at the grocery store, you see something, you're interested to try it, pick it up, try it. It might be good. You never know. You might have a favorite thing, a new favorite thing. These are a few of my favorite things. Try it out. You never know. All right, I'm gone. Peace, love, and hagris.